In exercise 6, I'd like you to learn how to move an archive. You're going to create a new directory archives. We're going to put that archive that's 300 megabytes in that directory by first unregistering it, moving it into the directory, and then re-registering it in place. So see if you can try this on your own before you look at the step-by-step -step solution. So I'll start by going into Windows Explorer. I'll choose File, New from the root directory, and I'm going to create a new folder. And the folder is scrolling off the bottom of my screen. Let's see if I can't find it here. Excuse me. There we go. And in this folder, it's going to be called Archives. And that's our destination. So let me switch now back to my system management tools. I'm just using Alt-Tab to go back. And let's unregister the 300 megabyte archive. It's the next step. Here's the 300 megabyte archive I created. I'm going to go ahead and unregister that. I'll physically move that archive. I'll go back into Windows Explorer. This was originally in the pi slash dat directory. And hopefully if you've done this on your own, you recognize there's two things to move, both the archive file itself and the, the corresponding annotation file. So I'm simply going to pick that up. Uh, let's do an edit cut. And let's paste that into the directory that I just created. Edit paste. Now if you didn't put this in there, this annotation file, you'll notice when we register it, we will actually create an annotation file at that point. And finally, let me go ahead and register this in, the, in its new location. So I'll just simply do a right mouse click and choose Register Archive. Uh, browse out to, let's go to my computer. And here's the archives directory. And let's register this archive. So when you do this, you'll notice now, let me sort this the way I like to look at it again. 0 to 7. You'll notice here's the archive. It's still it's still listed there, but uh, the location, of course, is different. It's in C slash archives. And notice, since this is the most recently registered archive, it also shows up in the end of the list now. That's the most recently registered archive. That's the highest empty archive at this point.